The Venus Quotient is your quotient and capacity for loving on Earth. And I found it's actually an algorithm to falling in love. It's built on astrology, numerology, and sacred geometry. It's an algorithm that I came up with, but I have to admit it's built on Linda Goodman, if you know her work. She actually cracked the code of planets and numbers and how they synchronize. So for the last 20 years in astrologer, I've been paying attention to the numbers and the astrology, and this is where I come with the idea of a Venus quotient number. That everyone has a quotient for loving on Earth, and what is that quotient? Now, after counseling clients for nearly 20 years as an astrologer, I can tell you again and again, I found that these formulas work. And I want to explain to you what the formula is, because it's not something I'm going to hold over the world's head. On the contrary, the faster you know your VQ, the faster we can get down to business of loving and connecting and really beginning to heal the earth. So in the VQ algorithm, here's how it works. There's a number before the VQ and there's a number after the VQ. The number before the VQ is your Venus number. The number after the VQ is your quotient. So it's your Venus quotient. Now the Venus number is determined by what sign, astrological sign, the planet Venus is in at the time of your birth. And I'll real quickly give you the formula because it's not complicated. The zero VQ, zero is Scorpio. One is Leo. So if Venus is in Scorpio, you are a zero VQ. If Venus is in Leo, you are a one VQ. If Venus is in Cancer, you are a 2 VQ. If Venus is in Sag, you are a 3 VQ. If Venus is in Aquarius, you are a 4 VQ. If Venus is in Gemini, you're a 5 VQ. If Venus is in Libra, you are a 6 VQ. If Venus uh, actually is in Pisces, I get confused myself, you are a 7 VQ. If Venus is in Capricorn, you are an 8 VQ. If Venus is in Aries, you are a 9 VQ. If Venus is in Taurus, you are a 10 VQ. And finally, if Venus is in Virgo, you are an 11 VQ. So that is the code. You find your Venus placement, where it was in your birth, and you find what sign it was in, and that is the, the number 0 through 11 of your Venus placement. You'll learn more about this later. Then the second part of the formula is the quotient. And the quotient is the degree that the planet was in at that time of birth. So everyone's Venus can be in either zero through 29 degrees. That is your quotient of giving and receiving. And I break down the quotients later, but for the purpose of this video and explaining the VQ number and whatnot, that's how it works. You find Venus in your chart or where it was at the time of your birth, you find what sign it was in, it breaks down to that code I listed earlier, and then you find the degrees, the following degrees, and that is the quotient your Venus is at. And then click on another video to describe how to put it all together. Thanks for clicking.